Good afternoon, everyone. This is 1044C-54. It's a 10,000-pound lift, as you might have guessed, with an overall max height of 54 feet with the outriggers down. The outriggers are up. The uh, height is limited to 44 feet. The, uh, beginning at the front of the machine, like we did with the 154 this morning, we do have axle-mounted stabilizers on this machine. A lot of them you've seen today. Working backwards to the tire, 14 by 24 hydrofilled tire. So there is balance in the tire. We offer tires in both the lug, which you see here, we offer a rock tire for this, as well as a radial. Get them. ZF axles. We move towards the front of the machine. We have a ground clearance of about 16 inches in this machine. Again, if you crawl underneath it, you'll see that not a lot of hoses and tubes and things hanging down to get the uh, machine to get hung up on. In the cab, the primary joystick functions the traversing carriage, which offers 80 inches of traverse front to back, and the fork tilt front to back. The secondary joystick operates the traditional boom up, boom down, and crowd in and out. Move up to the dash, replace the indicator lights we talked about on the 154 with a full gauge cluster. Set up transmission in it, four speeds forward, three speeds reverse. In the rear, then, also ZF Planetaries. The engine is a John Deere 115 horsepower turbo, runs 2500 RPM, spin on fuel and oil filters. Air filtration is two stage with the pop up indicator. It should be easily serviced from the top. Traverse the carriage is slide forward. All the service aspects are easily accessible from the sides of the machine. Some customers may be interested in closing the sides of that machine up. We do offer an anti vandal kit for those customers. Also, in the rear of this machine, we have a stability control system similar to the 154, it works a little differently. At boom angles less than 20 degrees, the axle is free to pivot. Between 20 and 40 degrees, the axle goes into its restricted oscillation mode. The transmission is limited to first and second gear. Also in that mode, the frame leveling is restricted or slowed down a few levels. Above 40 degrees, the drive is locked out requires an override switch on the dash if you want to move the machine forward or back, and that transmission is limited to first gear in that one. The hydraulic system on this machine is manufactured by Barnes. It's a dual gear pump system, pressure compensated. It allows for precision placement of the load. Moving up to the boom, we talked about the 80 inches of Reverse forward to back, where that really helps out is uh, inexperienced operators. When they go to land loads and height, you don't have to really find the sweet spot in the joystick you know, to safely land a load. The other benefit of the traversing carriage is you can truly land a load at 54 feet with this machine. That's not true of any fixed load machine. In addition to that, things we point out the track. The crown cylinder is underneath the boom, it's very well protected as you can see, as is the tilt cylinder up at the front. We offer a wide variety of attachments on this machine and auxiliary hydraulics. 